What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle and today we are bringing you episode number one of Tizzle's map tutorials and this is going to be on the map Arsenal. It's I got a free-for-all unlimited everything you know obviously because I'm trying to be, trying to show you guys some spots and um, yeah let's get into it. So on this map I just want to show you guys some things that you didn't know about, some things you did know about and um, just spots in general that I thought would be useful to the uh, average player and, and make them a little better. If you're not average, I mean, if you're lower than average, these spots will make you a little better um, in your approach to the game and the approach to getting more kills and getting a better KD. So let's start with the first little thing that I found. So here, these little uh, pillars, you can actually jump on them just on the corners. They uh, are a boundary, so you gotta go out of bounds. But you can jump on these corners. One of the first things I found is, for me, I like to do a lot of peaks. So there is a flag that's actually right here. So there's a flag in this spot on domination. And if you jump on this, okay, I'm struggling. If you jump on this, you can move over and you can see it, see the stair, just a, just barely. But that's enough information for me to see if someone crosses or not. Or you can just jump up and peek it real quick. It's not the most useful spot in the world. Honestly, it kind of sucks compared to the other ones. But I just want to go ahead and get that out of here because I did want to find a use for these and I did so you can you know you can see this whole stair by just jumping now as a power position I've been grinding a lot of hardcore recently due to trying to get headshots and stuff like that and one of the main things I see is people sitting here on this flag you know hugging it and watching this staircase right here and you know they're just going on and on and just killing everybody and you can't really get them because they can see literally everything but there is a small way to counter it. If um, you come up on somebody and you know they're in that room, obviously in hardcore it's pretty much 50-50. It's like a coin flip. You go in here and see who gets first hit. Um, you can gun them from you know one of these head glitches, which are, is the best way to do it. But if you don't have that type of time and you want to check to see if someone's in there without having to go in there, which usually if you can just walk around the corner you can just kill them. But if they there are you know if they're sitting like this and they're watching this side, you know they're in there and they're being all sneaky and they're, they're crouch walking everywhere and they're, they're checking here and they're standing right here and they're just watching it camping you can wall bang this you can wall, wall bang these wall, uh, wood panels right here so you can just you know spray them down do whatever and that is gonna hit here's some bullet holes these don't actually show bullet holes but there's bullet holes all right here um, you can see what they come what they come through at yeah, this guy, is, um, he should be really, really weak enough to push him. You can make him use his cooldown, which is his heal, and you can push him and get that, that KIA. So, moving onward. So here we have one of these L's, and these are very, I guess they're planters. I think that's what you call them, planters, or we'll just call them planters. For, I don't know why that word popped into my head, but I think that's what we're going to use. So here's some planters, and you can hold this L, and you can actually see this whole cross right here. And this is good for a flank, watching a flank. Um, obviously, the C flags here, so or the one of the flags, A or C, and you can you can watch his flank. You can um, watch his bridge. If you have an AR, you know you can you can head glitch it like this. Um, you can head glitch this right here. You have this whole protector. He cannot shoot through this, so you can you can kind of peek it like that. You can watch this side. Uh, you can you can watch this. You can literally watch like the whole entire map from these these dang planters, dude. So these are very, very useful. Make sure you're, you're taking advantage of these every chance you get because they are the best when it comes to gunfights. You always want to be on a head glitch in Call of Duty. That's really how it works. Unless you're just gunning kids and 1v7s, you're going to want to be on a head glitch. You want to be able to pick them apart. Let them come to you. Let them try to figure out how to fight you. So that's always a, a good thing to do. Use these planners. Also with this planner, you can, you can jump peek this as well and see that whole cross. Or you can you can crouch and head glitch from here, pull out the sniper, head glitch from here, and you can you can peek this cross from this way if you don't want to put yourself on the L. You know, just kind of view it from a different different angle. And Call of Duty is all about angles, really. You know, head glitches and angles. That's really it. You can have all the gun skill in the world, but if you're good at you got the better angle, you got a better head glitch, you're gonna win it these stairs here and on every map there's some set of stairs somewhere but the, what's more important than the stairs is the railing itself so the stairs are important on Call of Duty because you can head glitch them like this and 
you know you can take out your your opponents but you can see people pretty easily you'll see like a chest up I always approach it from the railing and here you can see they actually cut in so that you can use this more as a head glitch I play it from this outside corner and I always head glitch like this because the railing goes higher than the stairs so you can actually play it you know just perfect and if you don't want to do that you can just sit in here you can also drop down a little bit you can you can watch this corner from here watch that you can sit in this little pocket you can watch this doorway you can back down you can see this but the sniper go ahead and hit this guy all kind of areas that you can see just from this railing alone and there's another one I'm thinking of specifically on Morocco they run up the stairs there and they, they got horse blinders on as you know all oblivious and they get popped every single time and I always push by the railing and I usually clean up that kill so here we have another one of the L's a lot of people like to take the gunfights onto these these planters so they'll they'll do that they'll push up and they'll they'll sit here or they'll they'll fight from this one right here you can do this reverse peek like this you know or you can watch this door from here you can watch this this door from this L moving up to here you can do the same thing watch from that L I like to watch from the corner on these the ones that have the um, grass around the other bushes around the top I like to watch from the corner so I'll do this instead of sitting like this because you have a lot more open here and here you have just the side of you so they really have to hit their shots now this outside foliage is going to focus so this outside foliage right here I think this is all just a picture this isn't really there you see my bullets flying behind it but when I shoot here it stops so you can't shoot through this stuff but you can shoot through the outside stuff and that's very important for fights like this because you can you know get that information peek back boom done same on this side you got them on that corner boom done this is probably one of my best finds on this map if not the best find on the map it's this planner specifically none of the other planners you can you can't jump on any of these corners or any of these sides on the planner except for this one you can actually jump on this one in comparison to the other ones um, if I can get up here in a second so there you go and you can this is a power position you can you can watch this window which is very very popular you can watch this doorway you can watch this vent you can see this head glitch um, if you're sneaky you can you know watch this side watch here if you want you can back up a little more also use this corner take out the guy on the staircase take out the guy here it's it's very very you know it's a very good power position just from this one spot so this is probably the best find on the map to be honest with you guys nobody knows about this so take advantage of it while it's in the game hopefully they don't get rid of something like that I mean they probably will because I mean you're literally not supposed to jump up here on any of them except for this one so that's just some coding problem and take advantage of it while you can all right next up we have this vent so you can actually shoot right through this area you can see their spawn here if you have a sniper you can see right through their spawn area um, these doors very important lesson about these doors they're motion sensor but you can open them with shots like that so if someone's just you know staring at you through the door you can actually light them up the door is going to open um, so go ahead and do it before someone does it to you it's just take advantage of shooting through it I don't think